Hi, my name is Tristy, and in this video, I'm going to help you get your app up and hosted on Nojitsu. Now, Nojitsu is one of my personal favorite um, hosting platforms. They know their node, um, and I've got a couple of uh, my own production apps uh, up and running on there. Um, I'll show you how simple it is, and um, to really kind of prove that point, the cool thing about Nojitsu is that you can actually even sign up using the command line. So I'm going to go through the whole process with you um, and let's see how quick we can do it. So just got PowerShell over here and um, to kick off we just need to um, install um, Nojitsu. So just go npm uh, install uh, Jitsu which is the package that Nojitsu use minus G. Now, I've already got Jitsu installed, so I'm going to change it from install to update. So I'll just let that just check to see if there's any more recent versions of the package. Okay, cool. So it looks like that's been um, installed for me. Um, now, the, um, the next thing I'm going to do is actually sign up to a new Jitsu account. So I just go Jitsu, sign up. So it's just asking me to provide a username, uh, it's asking me for an email address and just a password. Alright, so it's creating my account. Cool, so it sent me an email, I'm just going to go quickly check that. Cool, and my account is now activated. Um, now the next thing I'm going to do is just cd over to the directory where I'm holding uh, my main app. So cd directory. Um, now, before we can actually um, push our app up into um, Nojitsu, there's a couple things that we need to change in our package.json file. So I'm just jumping across to um, main app and just in package.json, which you'll sort of find in your structure down the bottom, um, we're going to do two things. So firstly, we're going to change the, the script that we run when we start the app. So instead of grunt, we're just going to say node and then server dot js and down the bottom here the other thing we're going to do is just add a subdomain so just um, after your dev dependencies just put it in a little comma and then in quotes we just want to say sub domain and then we just put um, colon and just um, come up with a name it can be pretty much anything that you choose um, I'll call it my mean project, so 30 days. Um, and that should be a fairly unique um, domain. So just save that. And I just need to push that through the version control into Git, because that's the package that we're going to be pushing through. So just change the start script. And that's done. So going back, whoops to um, our command line. I'm just going to say Jitsu login. I've got a couple of um, logins with Jitsu, so I just want to make sure that it's using the right one. So yep, we're using possible. Let's put in my password. Cool, so I'm authenticated. Um, and all I have to do now is say Jitsu deploy. So now it's going ahead, installing all the dependencies. Um, now it's installing all the Bower, the client side related dependencies. So we're almost there. It's creating my app, activating it, and starting it up. Fantastic. So what it's done is told me that my app is now hosted at this location here. So I'm just going to copy that and um, just open new browser window and here's our app. Now I can just sign into this and if we go across to our customers list here's our customer that, um, that we set up when we hosted the app on Heroku, um, we can easily go ahead and create a new customer. So I might add um, good old Daffy. Uh, I'm leaving him as not referred. 
and there's Bugs and Daffy sitting up in our app on Nojitsu. Um, I hope you've uh, hope you've enjoyed that, um, got your app up and running. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out Bossable.com for more details, and I'll see you again soon.